Hey there, it's Perry with Paper Crafting Threads. Today, I'm working on a single bridge card tutorial. Feel free to substitute whatever supplies you have. Let's get started. I'm starting with a card base of basic black measuring four and a quarter inches by 11 inches and it's scored in the middle at five and a half inches. The bridge mechanism is a piece of basic black measuring two inches by six and a quarter inches. And both ends are scored at half an inch and one inch, half an inch and one inch. And I'm going to fold these mountain folds back, valley folds forward. So from the top, it looks like that. For the back panel, I have a piece of Tahitian Tide cardstock measuring four and one eighths by five and three eighths, and a piece of cardstock measuring four inches by five and a quarter inches. This pattern is from the Rock and Roll DSP. And if you don't have that DSP, just substitute whatever you have. For my bridge panel, I have another piece of the Tahitian Tide cardstock measuring uh, one and seven eighths by four inches. And the DSP measures one and three quarters by three and seven eighths. And then I'm going to flip that over. I'm gonna add adhesive on here. And I'm going to line that up with the bottom corner of my card. And then I'm going to add the adhesive on this edge. And line that edge up with my card. I stamped the guitar image and the sentiment from the Rockstar stamp set with Tuxedo Black Memento ink, and I die cut those images out with the matching dies. I'm coloring the guitar with light Tahitian Tide, accented with dark Tahitian Tide. And I'm using light Parakeet Party for the body. And going back over it. I'm also taking the light Parakeet Party and going around the edges of my sentiment. For my lightning bolts and stars, I took a piece of lemon lolly cardstock and I colored it in with light pumpkin pie to get this beautiful, almost mango melody color. Some of you may remember that that is a retired color and I wanted to do something that kind of recreated it. And then I die cut those. I also die cut the guitar pick from the holographic paper. So I'm putting adhesive just on the bottom of my guitar pick, putting my fingers in here and angling the guitar pick on the front of the card. The back of the guitar, I'm adding dimensionals. For the rock star sentiment, I have a piece of window sheet that measures three and a half inches by three quarters inches. I'm putting a glue dot on the back of the sentiment near the top and gluing that and then I'm going to lift this up and put a second glue dot underneath there. So now I have my sentiment on here. I'm going to insert it in here. So I need to put glue dots on here on top of the window sheet. And I'm being generous because I don't want it to move. So I have my glue dots on the window sheet I'm going to slide this under here until the Your Rockstar overlaps my guitar pick and I'm pressing the bottom of it inside under on the underside of the bridge. I'm also going to put glue dots on the bottom of the lightning bolt and tuck that in under the guitar.
For the inside of the card, I have a piece of basic white cardstock measuring four and one eighths by five and three eighths. And I stamped it with this guitar image from the Enjoy Your Rhythm stamp set. And there is my single bridge card. Find written instructions and measurements over on my blog at. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and thanks for watching. Bye.